Thomas Vermalen. Forget the Terminator, the Arsenal fans nicknamed him the Verminator, a technically gifted centre-back, a goal-scoring machine, but like many before and after him, yet another Arsenal career ended by injuries. Welcome to Everything Arsenal and welcome to another installment of Player Profile where we take a look at the careers of current, past and future Arsenal players. So if you like the content, make sure to hit the like button and let's get straight into it. On 19th of June 2009, Vermaelen joined Arsenal from Ajax for an initial fee of £10 million, eventually rising to £12 million, replacing Colo Toure who was on his way out of Arsenal, ending up at Manchester City later on. Vermaelen formed a centre-back pairing with Gallas. He scored on his debut in a 6-1 away win at Everton, becoming the 84th Arsenal player to score on their debut. He then scored a brace against Wigan in a 4-0 victory, the second of which was quite the striker's finish. Arsenal fans were very impressed with the new signing. They voted him as player of the month twice in a row. He loved scoring so much, he even scored an own goal in a 3-0 loss against Chelsea. He finished his first season with 8 goals in 45 appearances, 7 goals coming in the Premier League which meant he was included in the team of the season, next to Evra, Ivanovic and Richard Dunn in the best defence that season. He was Arsenal's fourth top scorer that season as well, after Cesc Fabregas, Ashavin and Robin Van Persie. The following campaign, a lot was expected from the Belgian international. He started the first three matches of the season but picked up an Achilles tendon injury on international duty. He had an injury setback and manager Arsene Wenger reported that the Achilles injury would keep him out for the foreseeable future. He ended up missing eight months of the season but returned for the last couple of matches that campaign which meant he only played five games that season. At the start of the 2011-2012 season, Vermaelen was named vice-captain after the departure of Fabregas and the appointment of Van Persie as Arsenal captain. He unfortunately suffered yet another Achilles injury which kept him out for six weeks. He returned and ended up scoring once again six goals in 29 games including a 95th minute winner versus Newcastle. By the start of the 2012-2013 season, a lot of Arsenal fans have started giving up on Thomas Vermaelen due to his constant injuries. But despite that, he was still named the Arsenal captain after the departure of Robin Van Persie to Manchester United. He missed the decisive penalty in the Carling Cup quarter-final match against Bradford. Poor performances followed up which forced Arsene Wenger to turn to Paul Matasaka and Koscielny as a centre-back partnership. Later on, we beat Bayern Munich 2-0 and were the first team to prevent Bayern from scoring that season, which meant Arsene Wenger decided to stick with Matasaka and Koscielny. In the next season, he won the only trophy in his Arsenal career, which was the 2014 FA Cup. After Arsenal's triumph in the FA Cup, there was a lot of rumours that Thomas Vermeulen, who was on the bench for that game, would eventually leave Arsenal for Spain. He ended up joining Barcelona and his injury problems continued. He went on to play only one game for them that season and only 34 appearances in the four years with the Spanish club. During his time with Barcelona, he was loaned out to Roma but only played nine games in nine months. That's basically one game per month. <sighs> Later on in his career, he went on to play for Japanese club Vissel Kobe where he played alongside his former teammates Iniesta and Podolski. He recently announced his retirement and joined the Belgian coaching setup ahead of the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Were it not for injuries, you never know how far Thomas Vermaelen would have gone for Arsenal. He left Arsenal at a very, very young age and recently in the Euro 2020, he marked out Ronaldo in a game, which meant he kind of still had it 
eight years later after leaving Arsenal. So let us know in the comment section what was your favorite Thomas Vermaelen moment. And as I mentioned in the intro, he was not the only player to be killed by injuries. So I've put a video on screen right now talking about Kazola and Rosiski. Make sure to click that and check it out. Another two very, very good players who were basically ended by injuries. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe and I'll catch up with you guys later.